in 1984, way back then, that's when God really uh, came into my life in a powerful way. And I was uh, heading, trying to State College at the time in New Jersey. And uh, all I wanted to do was uh, learn more about the Lord and study scripture. And I just couldn't get enough of God's word after living a very, uh, unfortunately, ungodly uh, teenage life. And so I was looking into different Christian colleges, Miami Christian College, any Christian any college that had a name Christian on it, I looked into it, and I was uh, a transfer student, and then someone mentioned to me at a Bible study, said, have you heard of Franciscan University in Steubenville? And I said, no, I never have. And I was raised Catholic, so um, I was open to uh, Franciscan University in Steubenville. So to make a long story short, uh, of all the colleges I called, this one college in particular, Franciscan University, which is not far from here, it was just amazing. The, the, the admissions counselors, they just offered uh, love and care, and they really cared about me as a person. I was more than just a number, and I just felt like some God was just saying, pay attention to this school. So I ended up uh, visiting the campus and overwhelmed uh, Wow, I felt like I was like entering into Narnia. I mean, <laughs> everywhere I turned, it was like, you know, someone else offering to help me carry something. Or, it was just an overwhelming experience for me, something I had really didn't even know existed on this earth. And uh, I made the decision to go to school there, transfer there, and I'll tell you what, I had accepted Christ in my life, but man, as far as just really growing in my faith, the two years I was there it was like I was in a, a garden with all the best soil and water and sunlight and learned so much. And the one thing that I'll never forget is just how I was always against abortion. I mean, I didn't like abortion, but when I was at that campus, God supernaturally showed me his heart in regards to abortion and how he felt about these babies who were dying. And I went to the March for Life for my first time, and I, I just couldn't even uh, begin to tell you uh, how powerfully God moves there. And it, it, this is now 2012, so I don't even know how many years later, but mm -hmm. that college is still such a bright light for the Lord and for pro-life. And we're very blessed to have a number of the students from that campus here tonight, including the president of the uh, uh, students for Life, and every Saturday that their school is in session, they're having, they have at least 100 students from that campus out either at East Liberty Abortion Facility or Planned Parenthood, and they're praying. And I've been at abortion clinics for many, many years, and it's always so dark for the most part and so discouraging. But when they're there praying, they break up into little teams and if I'm sidewalk counseling or something, it's just different. You just like, you, you have hope that someone's going to turn around because they're just the, the prayerful power you just feel. So anyway, uh, someone that I've grown to get to know better and we're just so blessed to have He's going to share a challenging message, I'm sure. Um, something that uh, we all need to hear. Um, he was at our sidewalk counseling seminar close to the other night and he shared something that, that challenged us all, you know, as far as uh, how to be effective out of these places. So I'd like to introduce Mr. Victor Bermudez from California and Franciscan University. 